This is Alina Fussball and I am Alina and in this video we will have a look at a pretty, you know, wonderful news and to a pretty sad news. So we will start with the positive and then we finish with the negative sad news. So let's get started. In case you already know what I am about to show you. We are getting closer to it and I would like to enhance it a little bit. Yeah, much better. We keep scrolling down because look, Maya is here. She's arrived. Well, let me tell you, I get the goosebumps just by watching this. The most expensive transfer in women's football history and she's from Colombia a striker of high quality just look at her expression here feeling right now what this means for her and for Colombian players I need to give a like to this and I need to comment on this of course so what do I say here I just Oh my god. <laughs> I just I just get the goosebumps. By knowing she is going to play alongside Nuskin and can I read? Yeah, you already know that here in Alina Fußball, yeah, we pay attention to what's happening around German soccer players. So, Sjöke Nuskin is, is there in Chelsea and yeah, I want to see that connection between can I read, Nuskin and then Mayra next to Sam Kerr. This Chelsea team looks really promising. Yeah. <laughs> I've already shared my comment. I hope my English was okay. And let's have a look at what The Guardian is saying here. And then again, look at her smile. She's making dreams come true, right? I want to read what the manager says. I think everybody knows her qualities. Yeah, we already know her qualities. Yeah. If you haven't, you better check her playing. Believe me. She's excited to be here and we're really, really excited to have her. Her physicality is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's what I thought at first. Sam Kerr and Maya Ramirez together storming the box oh man <laughs> the defenders need to prepare pretty well in order to receive that attack she's got so much size but presence and power she's quick with the ball yeah she's really quick she's a threat in the box absolutely she scores goals of course <laughs> if she didn't she wouldn't be there in chelsea she doesn't speak English, so two or three of us are helping her with that. Well, it would be a pleasure to, you know, to, to help her with that. So Mayra, if you're watching this video and if you need support, well, I can support you <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I hope my English is really good so I can help you. It will take a little bit of time to settle, of course, because, you know, culturally speaking, you know, Colombia, England, so there are big difference, cultural differences, so for some players it could be really shocking, but I'm sure she will bring a lot of qualities to our league, of course, of course. Hey said she wasn't sure whether Ramirez would be available on Saturday when the league leaders played at Brighton, saying, I don't actually know, I know she has trained this morning. In terms of international clearance, I don't know at this moment in time. Well, you know, it would be really marvelous to, to see her playing right away, but, you know, 
just why not having just a little break to to settle to breathe this new air this london's air so yeah but anyways this is pretty exciting news for the world of football we are watching this because in a while we will check some sad news for Frauen Bundesliga and I'm not talking about yeah that Frankfurt got eliminated from the Champions League but something connected to you know a pretty important player in Eintracht's team and I guess you know what I'm about to show you here Yeah, this is a pretty sad moment. At the moment we didn't know what happened, so we were so focused on this attack. Uh, I, I thought that, yeah, that Freigan was about to score that, but yeah, notice that then they noticed. Yeah. Tanias got injured. Pretty serious injury. Yeah, notice all the players realizing what was going on. So, Kara, Bösel, Kleinherne, Dorsen, Greve was there. But yeah, so like making company to the player. Sadly, uh, she was crying. As I mentioned in the review that I made, yeah, so why not crying if you are leaving your team in such such a impo an important game? Yeah, it's never okay to you know to witness this happening to a player to an athlete. So let's read the news that I found in an interesting and pretty good um, website. This website is Soccer Dona and it's specialized in women's football. It is in German, but yeah, so if you check and uh, where, can, where can we, yeah, and translate, maybe you can like, you know, get this website in your language. I'm not translating it. Because remember that in our channel, we are, you and me, we are learning German. DDS expose ourselves to the language with context. And what better context than the world of football? Sadly, today, the content is not so, you know, full of joy or fun. But yeah, just sadly having a look at this news. Die Frankfurter Frauenspielerin Tanja Pawlek fällt wegen einer Verletzung am Kreuzbahn wieder lange aus. Uh, Kreuzbahn, I think that's yeah, a pretty serious injury. Die Operation steht seiner an. I didn't know that, that she had to go on a surgery. Oof. So that means that we will miss Tanja. I think for the rest of the Frauen Bundesliga season. So that's pretty, pretty sad. Yeah, because she's a leader on the pitch. Let's see what happens with Eintracht because they are in third place in the standings of Frauen Bundesliga. And that means that they are fighting for that ticket for the knockout stage in the Champions League. And this is what they uh, actually say. Wir sehen sehr traurig über die schockierende Diagnose. Uns allen tut es unfassbar leid für sie, die nun länger fällen wird und in den vergangenen Monaten unfassbar wichtig auf und neben dem Platz für uns war. Ja, yeah. they say that Tanja was pretty, pretty important for Eintracht. They will miss her a lot in the rest of the season.
So it's pretty sad to share this type of news, but yeah, this is the situation with Tania Pavulek in Eintracht Frankfurt. In order to close the video, please leave your comments about what you feel, what your expectations are with Maya Ramirez in Chelsea. Will she start right away in the starting 11? Will she be right away in the starting 11? Or maybe in the coming two weeks she will be or, or I don't know so just just comment on that and tell me what will happen with Eintracht without Tania Pavolek will they be able to continue holding on to that third place in Frauen Bundesliga and so to the ticket to the knockout stages in the Champions League or because of that they will drop in the standings and lose that ticket so I don't know In the comments, leave your opinions. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it. Give us a like, of course. Share this video with your community. And see you in the next video.